Hey guys, it's Into Thin Air, long time no talk. Um, I got you here on the Core 3 cam. What I want to show you today is what I think is the Perseid meteor shower. Uh, either a, a portion of it or making its way towards Earth, but this is really cool. So take note of the time here. Uh, it's on the 11th. Right now we're at 1342 UTC, so I'm going to hit play and you're going to see it flash on the screen. Now keep in mind, uh, time, this is like a 48 hour loop, maybe two, three days tops loop. So when you're seeing each frame, each frame's about an hour, uh, between a half hour and an hour long. So just because you see something flash on the screen, it doesn't mean it was there and gone that quick. Uh, we're talking it took probably about an hour for this uh, one frame to pass between the camera and the sun. So here, take a look. We're at 15, we're looking for 22, the hour of 22, here it comes, boom, right there, here we go, I'll show you again, right there, right there, right there. Now keep in mind, this took an hour uh, from start to finish, because if you look, we'll go back to the 11th, okay, so at 22.18, it's not there, 22.30, it has come in, so between, we're talking 15 minutes, uh, it took for these things to enter the screen, and then by 23.06 they are gone. Uh, this screen over here is a negative version, it shows each frame twice, which is why it's still here, and it just gives you a better idea of what you're looking at. Um, now I got some snapshots of this, I'll look at this one, actually no, we just saw that, we'll look at this one. Now check it out, you can actually make out these objects, these rocks, these are what looks to me are meteors, and this is a lot of them. Some of them look to be passing between the camera and the sun. You can tell these are going behind the disc being held out by the camera. It's actually a physical disc to block out the brightness of the sun so we can actually see this stuff. But guys, this is really cool, and we are expecting the peak of the shower actually tonight, which is the 12th. So this was about 16, 17 hours ago. But this is no glitch. These are meteors right in your face. And it's really cool. I also got a shot at the end of this clip. Uh, there's another big one right here. This was at the top right of the frame. Uh, this is clearly an object, probably a big rock passing by. It's actually moving the other direction. So, as you can see, these were moving basically it looks from the upper area down. And then this one's moving left to right. This clearly isn't part of the shower. Let's see if we can actually get this one on the clip. I know it's at the end of the video. So we got that here. I'll fast forward. It's actually, okay, there it is. Last frame. One of the last frames. So you can get an idea of the size of this one. This one actually looks bigger than any of the other ones in the actual shower itself. Really cool stuff. Now, I haven't been able to capture this on the other cameras yet because the other cameras aren't updated to this time as of yet, so we'll see if we can collaborate and see if we can get double images here. But guys, this is cool. I've, it's been it's rare to see that you can actually see the object connected to the tail. Really, really cool. And there's also, it's hard to see because this, I took a screenshot of this so it's a little pixely. It's like a boomerang shape over here. I'm not thinking too much of it because there are glitches within these images. You can see little white specks that might not be anything. Uh, but this is different. This is way too many to be just some glitch. This is actually a shower passing between our line of sight from the camera to the sun. And it makes sense because, like I said, we have that Perseid, Perseid, whatever, however you pronounce it, meteor shower, which is actually a reoccurring shower. So yeah, I just wanted to show this to you guys and let you know I'm still alive and making videos. Just been very busy with work. I wish I could do this every single day. I love doing it. I love learning this stuff. And that is awesome. Check this out. I could look at this all day. I'm actually gonna I'm gonna do a follow-up clip where I mess with color and stuff like that and try to bring these out. Like you can see these rocks. That's what's the cool the coolest part about this, in my opinion. And here is just a little snapshot from uh, Wikipedia telling you about this uh, meteor shower and how many times it's come and gone. And you can see right here, 
Uh, it's active between July and August, and they have August 12th here for the peak. Last year it was between the 11th and 12th. I actually remember this now, thinking back to 2016, but never thought to check the sun cams. So, that's all for now, guys. I hope you're all sticking with me. I will be making more material. I'm going to be following up on this meteor shower, and I will have high-def footage if we have the weather that we need to be able to see this thing. I'm a little worried about that. Being on the East Coast, it's been very, very gray. So I hope the sky opens up for this thing because I will be filming it uh, from some pretty cool locations, multiple cameras as well. All right, guys, that's enough of me for today. Hope you guys have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.